I think we'd agree that 8 times negative 1 is negative 8. The difference is you can't just multiply this by negative 1 and say, ha ha, no. You've got to multiply the whole thing by negative 1. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply the whole top equation by negative 1. Multiplying by negative 1 just changes the signs of everything. That's the only thing it's going to accomplish. So instead of 8x, it's going to be negative 8x. Instead of minus 3y, it's going to become plus 3y. And instead of negative 5, it's going to be 0.05. And now, I'm right back to where I was a minute ago. Okay. Now I can just start adding up going this way. No big deal. So if I start doing that now, I've got 8x and negative 8x. That's the part that disappears. 7y and 3y, that's going to give me how many y's? 10y. Ten. Ten <clears throat> and 5 and 5, that's going to give me 10. ten. Well, kind of hard to screw this one up. I'm going to divide across by what? 10. ten. And I'll quickly find out that y equals 1. OK, so now you've got to plug it back in. You pick. You can plug it into the original equation, the one we changed it to, or the middle one. Doesn't matter. <coughs> You're going to get the same answer no matter which one you plugged it into. Shelly, which one do you want to plug it into? The very, very last one. This one here? Yeah. Okay. So, got negative 8x <coughs> plus 3y equals 5, and I'm changing y into 1. In the middle there, I've got 3 times 1, 3. Okay. So, I've got to move lonesome numbers to the right. What lonesome number am I going to move to the right? The 3. I have to subtract it. So, I've got negative 8x equals 2 divide across by negative 8. Realize this is not negative 8 divided by 2. It is not negative 8 divided by 2. It is not negative 4. It's 2 over negative 8, which is a fraction. You could write negative 1 fourth or negative 0.25, which I'm guessing most of you are going to write negative 0.25 because you're going to use the calculator. Kaylee, did you have a question? No. Okay. <clears throat> yes? How can we get the tangent to subtract the uh, negative? You've got to have something that's opposite. Otherwise, when you add up this way, and when you go this way, if I hadn't have done that, well, I'd have 8x and 8x is 16x, 3y and 7y is 10y, and the 5 and the 5 would be doing 0. So you didn't get rid of any variables. The whole method works because you get rid of one of the variables when you add up this way. All right, last one, example five, 2x minus 5y equals 6, x minus 2y equals negative 2. Now, notice in this one, not only do I not have something opposite, I have the same numbers in front of me, okay? I don't have 2 and a 2, I don't have 5 and a 5, I don't have 2 and a 2, 1 and 1, I don't have anything. So here, you're going to have to make all sorts of changes depending on how you go. Okay. So the first thing we need to decide is which variable do I want to eliminate? Do I want to eliminate x or do I want to eliminate y? Jackie, do you want to eliminate x or do you want to eliminate y? X. Okay, you're going to get rid of x. Okay. So if this is a 2, it would be best for me to turn this into negative 2, because that's the way the method works. Which means I've got to multiply the whole second equation by negative 2. So this times negative 2, we said it's going to give me negative 2x. That's the whole point. Now, if I cover that up for a minute, you can see that's negative 2y. 
So negative 2y times negative 2 is positive 4y. So you should be writing plus 4y there. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. And then the only other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite this top equation because I like them stacked up because it's really easy for me to figure out them. Aha. Okay. Better? Okay. So now I'm going to start adding up going this way. So, I've got negative 2x and the 2x, that goes away. That's the whole point. What? What did you do to get the both 2? I multiplied oh. the whole second equation by negative 2. Okay. Okay. I've got 4y and negative 5y, that's going to make negative 1y. And 4 and 6 are just going to make 10. So, I'm going to divide now each side. What do I have to divide each side by? Negative. Negative 1. <coughs> and that'll give me y equals negative 10. Okay. So, you can choose now to plug it back into the first, the second, or the third equation. You could choose the fourth, but that's the same as this one. I just recopied. So you can choose plug back into the first, the second, or the third. Top, middle, or bottom. Uh, Kristen, top, middle, or bottom equation? Bottom. Bottom, fine. Okay, so I've got negative 2x plus 4y equals 4. And I'm going to change y into negative 10. In the middle there, I have 4 times negative 10, which is negative 40. Now, I need to get all my lonesome numbers over to the right. So what number do I have to move to the right? The 40. The 40's got to go to the right. So add 40 to each side. I've got negative 2x. 44 divided by negative 2 x equals negative 22 finally you got an answer that didn't have just a 1 alright well we'll see how this